Michael, I want to thank you for setting the bar really, really high. <laughs> I don't speak publicly, um, so let me just get right into it. I'm a little nervous. Um, again, thank you. Great, great, really high bar to set, but um, I'm going to take a stab at it. Uh, November of last year, we had a speaker come into my Vistage group and speak to us about the art of storytelling. She came in, she had giant hair, jewelry everywhere. She had some sort of fashion trend that I did not understand. But uh, she came in and she, and she actually went around the room and was like asking everybody, who do you normally speak to? And you know, most of our group speaks to larger entities, gives a lot of speeches. And she came to me and I'm like, well, usually it's two or three customers at a time. Largest group I'd ever spoken to at that point was my business group of you know, 15 to 17. So here it goes. Um, good morning again. So I am Stephanie Davis. I'm with Davis Industrial. February 1st, we rebranded to Davis Industrial. We were in the like Cindy said. Um, how I got here. I'm sure you all are wondering how I got into an industrial services company specializing in conveyor systems. Um, always wanted to be one, right? In high school, you always dream of dealing in conveyor belts and marketing. <laughs> no, I was actually in November of 07 looking for an outside sales position. I was in land development prior to that and wanted something different. So I knew a guy who knew a guy who was running this company and they were looking for a female to be in outside sales. Wanted to check it out, see how it would work in the industry. And I thought, okay, no big deal. I went to the interview, AC interview, got the job and turned around and I was like, what are conveyor belts? I have no idea what these are, what they do, where to find them. What am I doing? And my boss was like, oh, it's kind of a learn on the job training. I'm not going to teach you, you just got to figure it out. So I hit the ground running, got in my little Mercury Mountaineer and started driving. I knew that CMEX plants had conveyor belts. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to go find every CMEX plant that I can and just go talk to people and, and learn the industry that way. Um, and that kind of set the tone for the management of the company. Severely mismanaged, uh, but there's a lot of potential in the industry. They just didn't really care about having the business. It was kind of a pet project. So, January of 08, I decided I was going to buy the company. Um, as I mentioned, I was 21. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, started writing the business plan. Uh, November, I'm sorry, August of 2008, I got all the funding from the bank and bought the company, which is a great time to buy a business. August of 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in the construction industry, the company had always focused on block plants, which were building houses, but not in 2008. So, just had to hit the ground running and diversify. Had bills to pay. Had three employees to take care of, and uh, today we have 33 employees. Um, we have three different divisions to our business. We just rebranded as Davis Industrial to bring all of those divisions together, uh, but. A lot of that was attributable to Cindy and my Vistage group. Uh, 2015, I came to the CEO Summit, and I sat close to the back and kind of hid, and uh, didn't answer when called upon, but I was really inspired by, and I forget the speaker's name, but it was a book about traction and, and how to get your business to the next level, and that's kind of where we were. We were still growing at a great pace, but we just, we didn't have the makings of a, of a corporate structure, and I felt like we needed scalability. So I joined a Vistage group and kind of found a, a safe place. Um, as many of you know, it gets kind of lonely at the top where you're, you know, you've got questions and, and you want to grow your business, but your spouse may not know how to talk to you about it. You can't really talk to your employees about it because they've never done it before. Uh, for me, it was new. I was young, um, didn't know what I was doing, kind of winging it as I went along. And I found this group of, I think we had 14 members at the time. and. <coughs> They were really inspiring and helpful, and anything that I came across, they had an answer to or an idea about that would help me push the business further. So since 2015, our business has grown 40% in revenue, uh, the important part, 80% in profit, net profit, and uh, we're, I think we have 10 more employees than we did then. We've won eight awards, we've been put on the Inc. 5000 list, and like I said, it's all attributable to, to the hard work of all of my people, and I'll get to that, but. But really the inspiration and being in a group of successful, non-competing industry professionals where you can come to them with anything and everything. And I do, I mean, these guys, you know, how you've gotten those phone calls. I've, I've talked to Alfred about so many different topics and just having people from all different walks of the industry there to really support you and want to help your business grow. Um, 
We have speakers that come in and talk about every different subject you can imagine. We have Dr. Leonardi come in and talk about health and wellness, where I learned that uh, carbohydrates are evil. <laughs> um, we had Jack Daly come in, Alfred's favorite, came in and talked about uh, sales coaching and the importance about uh, having a sales playbook and a pipeline. And um, of course, there was Mickey Williams who taught me how to give this amazing speech. Um, <laughs> But I think one of the most important parts of this stage for me is the one-to-ones. So Cindy comes by my office or we meet somewhere once a month, whether I like it or not, and she holds me accountable. Because we all come to see great speakers. And we learn all these amazing things just like we all have here today. And we're going to implement them as soon as we get back to the office. And as soon as you sit down at your desk, your phone rings, and you're like, business as usual. You, get, you fall back into that trap. And your employees didn't know that you went to this great seminar and you learned all this great stuff so they're not going to hold you accountable but Cindy does every month uh, in our meetings Cindy holds me accountable for what I said I was going to do and pushes me to to push the business forward and really helps me implement those changes that I wanted to make so like I said from 2015 to now we've implemented so many different changes and with a fast growing business as, as many of you know it's it's hard and you're constantly having to change the game midway through but we've done it, we've done a great job. She's helped me put into, really visualize what I wanted for the company, because I was mired in the day. I was chief of bottle washer, janitor, promoter, marketer, everything. And, and now I actually have the time to go on vacation or come here and spend a couple hours with you guys and really know that the business is being taken care of and I can focus on the other important parts of the business.